sunshine in South Florida sure does sizzle. Use the shade from a tree to escape that heat. Have you ever considered how your landscape affects your energy bill? I'm Sarah Taylor, Master Gardener and member of the Keep Port St. Lucie Beautiful Committee. Maybe a few green trees outside could save a little green in your wallet. Landscaping is a good way to keep energy costs down. Landscapes that keep the sun away from the east and west walls reduce the amount of heat flow into a house. When heat is transferred into the home, your AC has to operate longer and harder thus using more energy. Plants and trees that cast shadows over the east and west walls can reduce indoor temperatures by as much as 20 degrees in the summer. A good way to start the landscape planning process is to make a bird's eye drawing of your home. Mark east and west directions on your plan and include all and any existing trees and shrubs. This will help you to decide where to plant the appropriate vegetation. You could even use Google Maps online to look at how your home is positioned. For even more fun, switch to satellite view and observe the actual shadows cast by your current vegetation. Before you dig a hole and plant your tree or shrub, be sure to research how big it will be at maturity. Plant trees far enough away from the home so that when they mature, their root systems do not damage the foundation and branches do not damage the roof. Also remember to keep larger trees away from power lines. Trees with high spreading crowns, the branches and leaves, can be planted to the south of your home to provide maximum summertime roof shading. Trees with crowns lower to the ground are more appropriate to the west where shade is needed from lower afternoon sun angles. Although a slow growing tree may require many years of growth before it shades your roof, it will generally live longer than a fast growing tree. Also, because slow growing trees often have deeper roots and stronger branches, they are less prone to breakage by wind storms. Slow growing trees can also be more drought resistant than fast growing trees. Plant trees and shrubs so they can direct breezes. Remove low branches to allow for maximum air movement. Plants and trees release large amounts of water from the pores in their leaves, and this evaporative cooling process can create a zone around the plant as much as nine degrees cooler than the surrounding air temperature. Trees, shrubs, and ground cover plants can also shade the ground and pavement under the home. This reduces heat radiation and cools the air before it reaches your home's walls and windows. Use a large bush or row of shrubs to shade a patio or driveway. Plant a hedge to shade a sidewalk. Or consider using bark or wood chips for walkways. This helps to keep the yard cooler and provides drainage for water. Plant shade casting vegetation around the air conditioning compressor so it doesn't have to work so hard. Be sure that leaves and branches do not block the airflow and periodically check for fallen leaves. Build a trellis for climbing vines to shade a patio area. Set trellises away from the house to allow air to circulate and keep vines from possibly damaging the exterior surfaces. And last, but most importantly, plant natives. Use native plant species that are adapted to the soils and local environment. Natives require little maintenance once established and avoid the dangers of invasive species. Master your garden by using these tips to effectively shade your home, reduce energy costs, and keep Port St. Lucie beautiful.